Lee here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video is an introduction to a new series I've decided to start called E's List of Things You Should Give a Crap About This Week. So um, this this will be a series of, of videos um, in which I'll re review um, news and events, uh, noteworthy news and events from the week. Um, obviously, I won't be able to cover everything that's happening in the world, um, but I'll talk about some things that I think are kind of interesting. So, again, that's not everything, but uh, stuff that I think is interesting, so I don't know, maybe you will too. Um, there are a couple of things that prompted me to start this, this series of videos, um, and I guess the one overarching, um, the overarching factor is what I feel is the abdication of the um, uh, the mainstream television media to really report on things in a responsible manner to the public. I mean, this is just like gotten out of control. What's actually considered newsworthy, like, you know what, if Jay-Z and his sister-in-law get in a fight, that's that's good that's good for them they they can work it out but really every major channel has to cover that what in the world what kind of world have we come to um and so um this is this has really been bothering me for some time and and i started thinking about it the other day and i thought well um if I think that they're not going about it right, well, let me, you know, the great thing about the internet is that it truly is an equalizer in so many ways, at least now, before, you know, we see how the FCC changes the rules. We'll see what happens with that. But um, as for as of right now, it is. And so I thought, well, let me let me produce something that that um, that I think is is worthwhile for people. So so that's what I'm doing. Um, another element in this frustration, I have to say, a, truly a source of motivation, is David Gregory and Meet the Press. Look, I don't know David Gregory, and so I won't call the man a moron because I don't know him. I think it is fair, however, to say that he's a little bit simple-minded. I mean, look, not everyone can be Tim Russert. I get that. May he rest in peace. In fact, most people can't be Tim Russert because he was a phenomenal journalist and interviewer. He just really had a, a good instinct for how to pursue something and what was relevant to pursue. But there has to be some wriggle room between Tim Russert and David Gregory because David Gregory, on the other hand, that man would not know a probing question if it was standing in front of him with a big ass sign saying, choose me choose me he would not know it i mean this guy speeds right past an actual question with fruitful uh you know probative value on his way to 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 trying to get some sort of salacious admission that then would be a headline the next day it drives me completely berserk, berserk. so i can't watch meet the press any longer but you know that's just me the, the other piece of this is um, that I am in absolute amazement and awe, and I don't mean that in a good way, at the, at, at the manner in which um, reporters and journalists these days so frequently can become the focal point of a story and, and, and the celebrification of, of um, journalists and, and uh, news folks. I mean, listen, I'm sure uh, Brian Williams and Bill O'Reilly and Rachel Maddow are, are all really great people, but, but you know what? I really don't care what they have to say, what their personal take on these stories are. I really don't because I think that it is, um, it is a compromising position to have the journalists be so vocal about these things. And, and this is honestly not um, a criticism of those people in particular. I think Brian Williams, for example, does a pretty good job of being objective. Rachel Maddow makes no claims to be objective. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm just saying in terms of um, my, my litmus test is, 
is this a service or a disservice to the public? And I honestly think that conflating celebrity with with um, what's supposed to be third party reporter is a disservice to the public. So I have a real problem with that. Um, and a quintessential example of this uh, was just this week. Anderson Cooper did an interview with uh, Magic Johnson uh, related to this this controversy with Donald Sterling and the NBA and the racially inflammatory comments that Donald Sterling made <laughs> and personal attacks he made on Magic Johnson. The number of times that I heard Anderson Cooper that Anderson Cooper said, I thought, I felt, it seemed to me, I was I was sitting there dumbfounded. I'm like, dude, you're not the story. You're not supposed to be the story. As far as I'm concerned, reporters and journalists should do everything within them within their power to remove themselves as a focal point, not to become the focal point. And so, and, and Anderson Cooper was clearly oblivious to this. There were a couple of times where he just made full-on statements to which he only wanted Magic Johnson to agree. He wasn't really asking a question either, even. And I thought, how is this journalism any longer? Um, so um, that, that's the other problem that I have. Um, now, putting putting all of those issues that I have with the media's abdication of their responsibility aside, um, the the other source of inspiration for me in in making this series is honestly my friends on Facebook. It was um, either a presidential debate or a state of a state of the union address um, when I first um, just started doing a blow by uh, blow commentary on Facebook. Um, as I watched the as I watched the proceedings, and when I did that, I thought to myself, you know, I'm probably annoying people and um, on Facebook, and they'll mute me <laughs> if they can. And as it turns out, at much to my surprise, I mean, I'm sure I did annoy some people, but as it turns out, many of my Facebook friends found my ongoing commentary pretty funny and entertaining, and so. You know, that really inspired me um, to do this. That led to this. So I'd like to say thank you to all 12 of my Facebook friends. Hmm. Anyway, so last part. Um, uh, so the last thing I wanted to talk about was, oh yeah, my ground rules. Okay, so first off, um, I'll record these. I'll, I'll do the best I can to record them once a week. Um, publish them on Saturday mornings. There'll be 10 to 15 minute segments. I may on occasion do a special segment like questions David Gregory should have asked. I wouldn't count on that a whole lot because that would require me to actually watch Meet the Press with David Gregory. And I think we've established how I feel about that. So, but I, I will on occasion, you know, maybe do something like that. Most of the pieces uh, uh, that, that I talk about will be based on the uh, print news um, because I, I read my news. I, do, I don't really watch um, television or television news um, for the most part. So most of it will be based on that. There are some um, some things that I watch and some news magazines that I think are, are, are good like uh, Vice on HBO. I love that show. I think they do a really nice job of profiling things. I mean, there are some things I change about it, but whatever. It's not my show. So, um, also, I'll do my best to make sure that I always quote um, the source of something. If there is a sole source of um, of, a, of an article or um, a piece, I'll be sure to let you all know about that. And finally, as I said at the beginning, you know, I'm keenly aware uh, that what I talk about isn't everything that's newsworthy or going on in the world. Um, what I what I'll cover are, are the things that that interest me at that moment and that I feel um, I can say something about that's that's worth anybody hearing in a span of ten to fifteen minutes, plain and simple. So it is what it is. Um, that's not to say I don't care about other things, but obviously with ten or fifteen minutes, there's only so much ground you can cover. So I'm going to pick and choose and. And, you know, if people want to cover other stuff, well, they can 
do their own videos, I guess, right? So, there you have it. Um, I hope you tune in. I'll put the first video out tomorrow and uh, let me know what you think about it. All right? Gotta go mow the lawn. Take it easy.